Right, so we're back again. This time we're having a look at solving division problems with the written method. So let's get into one of the first things to have a look here. So here's our first um, equation. It's uh, 428 divided by 2. So we're asking how many times does 2 go into 428? Now with this one I'm going to show you, I want you to look at, um, as far as the success criteria, using the, the face value, the face value, not the place value at this stage. So that's going to be the success criteria so far. So, um, so what I mean by that is that if we look at 428, this is 400s, 2 10s and 8 1s, but in this case I want you to look at just the face value. So 4, 2 and 8. So let's have a look here. So we've got um, first part. Now we ask how many times um, does 2 go into 4? So 2 goes into 4 twice. So we put the 2 up there. Keep it in the column. Now we move on to the next number. How many times does 2 go into 2? So 2 goes into 2 once. And the last one here is how many times does 2 go into 8? Well, 2 goes into 8 four times. So the answer is um, 214. So 428 divided by 2 is 214. Okay, let's have a look at the next um, equation. This is from the first video we made. We've got 126 divided by 3. So, here we go. We look at the first number. We go, how many times does 3 go into 1? Well, we can't really do that. 3 doesn't go into 1 evenly and nicely. So what we'll do, just for this, is we're going to put a 0 up there. That just shows that we've dealt with the number 1. Now we look at the, um, the place value of the next number, and we join these two together. So we say 12. So we make that 12. So now we say, how many times does 3 go into 12? So knowing your, your family of facts or your basic facts, you'll know that 3 goes into 12 four times. And now we're left with the last number all by itself here. So 6. How many times does 3 go into 6? Well, we say twice. So 126 divided by 3 equals 42. Right, last example in this video. So same, same as before, we, uh, we take the first value here, it's 1, and we say how many times does 5 go into 1? Well, we can't, it doesn't work, so we put a 0 there. Now we look at the two numbers together, and we say how many times does 5 go into 13? Well, knowing our basic facts, we know that um, five twos are ten. Five twos are ten, um, but there's some there's some numbers left over. Five threes are fifteen. That's too much. But five twos are ten with three left over. So we go five goes into thirteen twice. Oopsie, five goes into thirteen twice, and we've got three left over. And I'm going to put the three there. So now we look at these two numbers together, and we make that thirty-five. 35. So now we say, well, how many times does 5 go into 35? And 5 goes into 35, knowing our basic facts, 7 times. 5 7s are 35. So the answer to 135 divided by 5 equals 27. All right, so that's um, us learning um, div division problems with the written method in the basic form. And the success criteria for this video was using the face value, not the place value. Um, so we're back with another video soon.